George, shots were fired during the dramatic standoff, and it could have ended in tragedy. You're watching a police standoff from an unusual angle. Inside the home, police lobbed tear gas through a window. Hey. Forever on sight, green light go. Posted in the cuts with the white go. Anybody get touched, we don't fight though. When you up against strikes, gotta fight those. Hey. Forever on sight, green light go. In the cuts with the white go. Anybody get touched, we don't fight though. When you up against strikes, gotta fight those. Hell nine, nah, right like Michael. Since 15, competing for the title. Getting tossed around juvie like a cyclone. Landed up in cheekers, had to go out if the lights on. Five at a time, had me cornered like a python. Back to back, fist fights and handball. Back in my county, felt like Ali in his prime though. Even though some rivals that I say I got my shine on. Hit those free those like four or five times, dog. Turn 18 to a flight like I'm gone. Sat with piranhas, GBI made my time long. Punk ass seals, hella shady with no light arms. Hungry and I ain't running plays through collect calls. Your bitch look dumb. Till the day I finally got home Hit the set swoop So I had to put it back on Yeah, I had to put it back on Yo, what's cracking? Nah, fuck that shit Nah, we ain't going out like that On behalf of the G Rats Tell the motherfuckers that we ain't going nowhere It's crime family eternal Fuck the hostage negotiator Yeah You know what? Tell him we said it's forever on sight, motherfucker. Don't, don't get killed when forever on sight, son. Through the drill, really living how I write songs. Fuck it, deal, I want the rights if I write songs. I got bills, gotta keep the lights on. So it's real, and I'm out here when the lights on. I strike like a pot, yeah. hustle when the lights on. Give a fuck how you feel, that's what I'm on. Hit the walls with pride lungs when I caught my first case. Sign my first deal when the homie snap a real skate. From the streets of rap, watch it snap in the place. When the best your homie, how I let it clap in his face. Louis V, Kush, we with the nine on my face. Forever on Psycho, psycho, like no, you know the rest of that. <laughs> Strapped up with a western hat. Mr. Criminal put it life on me, you're on the mat. Forever on psycho, ain't that right, Raz? Turn your music full blast when the night pass. Until the daylight, you always can't tight. Still can't believe we spoke like the same night. Forever on psycho, one of your last requests. So I'ma do my very best to finish up the quest. We fucked the game up, left it all a mess. The whole world knows your name, like you stole the rest. And every time I take a pick and throw it up the west, I can hear you say. And get it, crimes, I can feel your breath And if I'm next, fuck it Bury me with the same bandana from my first album cover tucked in And if I'm next, fuck it Bury me with the same bandana in the first strap I busted Long live motherfucking g Rask. <laughs> Forever on sight though, homie I still remember our last conversation, homie Fuck me up Had that conversation 30 minutes before you passed Forever on sight though Totally incapacitated, homies glad we made it, saw the enemy cross sprayed it, faded, is all outdoors, smell it coming out my pores, mama said get your ass outdoors, Willie 3 got all the whores, I'm sick of more bitches when we go on tour, the gang ain't lying, motherfucker, I roar, try to get liquor, caught a slip at the store, you don't need that, give me that jack, flat nigga back, pack pack nigga, but shit he can backtrack, motherfucker shit gave me my sack back, never try crack, never try smack, I eat shrooms and acid, so drastic, smash it, bitch this pickle is a classic, remember when I couldn't get a nickel from a bastard, now they clout chase and they try to ask kiss, I'm hiding under the covers in the underbucket, in front of the undercovers, fuck it, I'm hiding and kite, no fuck up my night, we give him Shit and they love it. I pull on my toolie what you wanna do with them. We could just ruin them. It was just two of them. Them bitches bad. Them niggas was mad. We wanna get high with just you and them. Don't hop in. We would've over them. We keep our opportunities. We screwing them. I gave us some pills. They chewing them. Doing them. Dug in my pocket. Got more of them. Four of them things. Don't need to explain. Bitch, my name is James. We came to tame your lames and things. You came to hang them. We came to hang. If you came to bang them, bang! I used to live right down that street, man, on Ozark right there, man. 
You know what I'm saying? A little young nigga, man, fucking with Big Mike Lowe. What's up with the homie Big Mike Lowe? Wherever the fuck y'all ass at, you know what I'm saying? That was my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, nigga running up and down these streets, marketing 47th Street, you know what I mean? That was like 86, cuz, 85, 86, you know oh, what I'm wow. saying? Hell yeah. yeah. My favorite rapper back then, cuz, was my nigga LL Cool J back in the day, you know what I'm saying? I was a hip hop head, you know what I'm saying? I used to love rap, you know what I mean? So, all through all my shit, riding around, Running around, I always kept raps in my motherfucking hand, no matter what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? I always had a motherfucking a, a bag full of raps. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing that shit. I've been rapping since I was like eight years old. You know what I'm saying? So I, I ain't new to this shit. I used to be in talent shows and all kind of shit. I got signed to Jam Master J, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Run DMC. You know what I mean? It was crazy. It was crazy because I was on the run when I actually got signed. I was on the run from YA Parole. So my brother was in Virginia. He came back and got me. About a, off of Raven Street. I was over there with my nigga Sutner and them, and I was on the run from Y.A. Parole. My motherfucking big brother came and got me. It took me back to the East Coast. I ended up running into Jam Master J, a nigga that, that was a manager, hooked me up with Jam Master J, and it was, it was a rap. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I first got my first start with the music shit. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up coming back home like, nigga, I'm on. You know what I mean? I was fucking with my nigga Cricket, bringing him out there to the East Coast, you know what I'm saying, and having him make beats, shit like that. So we got put on and got and got a fucking deal with Def Jam. And that was like 94, 93, 94. You know what I'm saying? That's when I first got signed to Jam Master J. Then we put out the first song was motherfucking on the Jason's Lyric soundtrack. You know what I mean? With R. Kelly and all them and shit. So, you know, that was my first in- introduction to the motherfucking industry. And then I had the song on the, so- on the show soundtrack with uh, uh, South Central Cartel and Tretch and all them on one song. And then I had my own shit called Zoom Zoom to Wham Whams. You know what I mean? So that's where I started out at with the, with them two soundtracks, and they was both platinum. So you know what I mean? Then I dropped this motherfucking uh, Take a Ride album. You know what I'm saying? I'm that hot. shit was I'm hot, hot too. Bro. You know what I mean? So Take a Ride was you know had Take a Ride was one of my favorite records. You know what I'm saying? It had Locus on his own, Sherm Stick, uh, 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 no, uh, got, got medication, Penitentiary Bound. You know what I mean? Songs like that on that motherfucker. You know what I mean? So it was one of my favorite records. I mean, there's not too many people that get into the rap game and been in the game for so many years and they can come back on the block and be surrounded by dudes from their hood. Usually it's it's not, it's hard to come back once you reach a certain level of success in the hip hop game. You know, how are you able to maintain those neighborhood and community ties? I mean, shit. I mean, I'm, I be still going through the same shit I've been going through before I was rapping, you know what I mean? I just got out the motherfucking penitentiary, you know what I'm saying, a year ago, so it's 40 Crip, you know what I mean? I mean, I was doing that before I was famous. A lot of rap niggas talk that shit, nigga, and they, they talk all that bullshit, but they play that famous card when they go to jail and be getting escorted around everywhere by the police, nigga, they K-10, you away from everybody, nigga, but you acting like you with the shit when you rapping. So that's kind of being a hypocrite to me. Well, sometimes they you know force you into it, because when Suge Knight went to the county, he didn't have a choice. That's they, bullshit. They, 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 that's bullshit. That's bullshit? That's bullshit. Okay, you got a choice, down. nigga, because I had a choice, nigga, because I'm a famous rapper, nigga. So the motherfuckers came at me, you're on the computer as a famous rapper. No, nigga. Anything happened to me is my fault. Fuck all that, nigga. I'm on the main line. Oh, that's right. They make you sign a paper. Neighborhood, nigga. Yeah. And I, whatever I got to sign, nigga, send me back to general population, nigga. And anything happened to me is my fault, nigga. That's what you tell the police. If you really with your shit. Or you're going to be like, niggas, get, take me over there to K-10. So if Suge Knight wasn't over there with the shit, he went to K-10, nigga, and was escorted by the police. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? I was in jail when, when Suge Knight was there. You know what I'm saying? So he wouldn't, you know what I mean? He kind of sick and all that shit, though. So he, he, he had health problems, you know what I mean? So he probably was in medical. Yeah, he was in, yeah, exactly. He was in medical, you know what I'm saying? But you already know, you know what I'm saying? That nigga ain't going to be around everybody else, but... Niggas talk all that shit, you know what I'm saying? So you shit. actually caught some cases after you become a famous rapper? Yeah, I had a couple pistol cases, you know what I'm saying? I had like two pistol cases and um, it was like, um, I had one pistol case and then I was out on bail, then I caught another one while I was out on bail. So they was trying to get me for bail on bail crime first and then charge me with the gun shit for <laughs> felling with a firearm, you know what I'm saying? But at first I had this motherfucking lawyer, this black dude, thinking I'm on some my, my people shit, this Muslim dude gonna help me get my shit right, this motherfucker trying to rob me for bread, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta go to the Jewish cats, 
nigga, and clean cut little bullshit up. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit. Nigga, they clean cut shit up, nigga. Got me a deal I couldn't refuse, nigga. They was friends with the judge, nigga. Got me a motherfucking two with half. I took the deal, signed for it, nigga. They let me finish my film I was making with Exhibit. Turned myself in, nigga, and got it over with. Ain't asked nobody for shit, nigga. Walked the main line, did my shit, got into a couple squabbles, nigga, and kept it neighborhood 40s, nigga. Now, how did you guys, both of you guys feel when you, had, when you saw the little homie grinding making a name for himself in the music business and actually becoming successful at it. No, oh. let, let me let me let you know something on some real shit. Okay. My nigga right here, cuz, been going with me to help me get to L.A. to where, nigga, I got that respect from everybody. These niggas was riding with me and taking me to the 60s out there. This nigga is not no motherfucking joke, cuz, the niggas you talking to. You got to remember, we was fucking with L.A. back in the late, probably the early Probably 80, 79, we was going up there. Because a lot of homies was in Hawaii with a lot of L.A. niggas. And uh, we, they forged those relationships, so we always stayed in touch with them. We used to go fuck with the Broadway. We used to go fuck with every. We used to even fuck with the, the, the Hoovers back then. Because it was really crip. was still fucking with each other at that time. So who's the it, first one to bridge that gap between you guys and L.A.? Like, who actually made the first L.A. connections? Well, my, well, our big homie Donnie from Harlem that started this. So we already was going up to Dinka Park, going up to Harlem and fucking with them. We already knew a little bit about them and fucking with them. And I know a gang of Harlem. You know, I know James Miller. I know uh, Dino. I know a gang of Harlem. Bob, Big Bob, Little Bob. So I already knew them. I heard James Miller was a beast. Yeah, that was my dog. Me and his birthday the same year. I mean, same day, July 23rd. Whatever happened to him? He uh, killed himself in the pen. They said suicide? That's yeah. what they say. Yeah. I think it was foul play. That used to be my buffing partner. You know, I got, a, I got a gang of flicks with me and James. They, they call him BJ? Yeah, Big BJ. BJ. Yeah. And see, him and my homeboy, Donnie, was partnered. And that's another reason why how we, we, you know, they gave Donnie the okay to come down here and start a neighborhood 40. And a lot of people look at us, and see, if they look at some pictures of us, because we give it up like this, they'll think we from Harlem. You know what I mean? For a long time. So, you know, a lot of people were seeing pictures of us and didn't know ex exactly we was from neighborhood. We from San Diego. And then a lot of niggas used to come down here and fuck with us. The Long Beach, the Insane, just come down here and fuck with us. Dirty Burton, all of them. My homeboy, uh, CJ, John Kennedy, that's on death row. All of them used to come down here and fuck with us. So we already had a connection with LA. That ain't nothing. No way before the drug gang and all that shit, we was already going to LA fucking with them dudes. Who was you most excited about working with over the years? Like, take me back to some of the, your early collaborations that stand out in your mind. I mean, my collaboration with Snoop was, was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Even How'd that come about? Um... It was crazy. Like, I, 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 when I first met Snoop, I was introduced to him by Jam Master J. Rest in peace, you know what I'm saying? So I was doing a video called Sherm Stick off of my first album, and Snoop ended up showing up to the video. So that was the first time we linked up. And then at night, I went to a party with Snoop and them and had motherfucking, uh, um, what's her name, Left Eye from TLC and a couple more cats. And we just, you know, that's when we first started kicking it. And then... Um, uh, me and Corrupt was kicking it with Jam Master J. When I remember when Corrupt had the pit bull, we was riding around with him, getting drunk and shit, getting high and shit, you know what I mean? So Jam Master J introduced me to a lot of people from, you know what I mean, that era, you know what I mean, like Snoop and Scarface. He the one he the one uh, actually got me on Scarface, first. I mean, uh, the album that first time I worked with Scarface, you know what I mean? But um, um, with me and Snoop with the Got Beef record, we was just chilling one night. And it was a gang of us, and I remember it was uh, one of the homies' birthday, and um, and uh, LT Hutton had this bomb ass beat, and Snoop started making calls like, "We got one, we got us a hit," you know what I mean? So we went to the studio that night, start airing that motherfucker out, you know what I mean? Shout out to Dog, we finna do some new shit too, you know what I mean? Me and Dog and E40 and Sugar Free, you know what I mean? Was there any competition between you as the most popular <laughs> crip rapper in San Diego with Mitchie Slick, the most popular blood rapper? No, no, there's no competition with nobody. Okay. Period. I'm the shit, and that's it. I fucking make the shit happen, yeah. goddammit. Um, and and no, no disrespect, you know what I'm saying? But when it come to Mitchie Slick, my nigga Cricket helped him get started. Cricket made them beats, you know what I'm saying? That nigga's from over here with us, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't no disrespect. Congratulations, and I'm glad that he made it away for himself, you know what I'm saying? And that shit is cracking. I'm glad niggas made a way for themselves. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck where you from because it's hard to be fucking, to come up out of here, period, from no matter where a nigga from. So my hat's off to anybody that make it. You know no. what I'm saying? But it was never no, I was never in no competition with nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make my way. I ain't thinking about nobody else when I'm 
doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? 